a beautiful new streetcar. All aboard! So Shirley Temple becomes conductor number one and starts the operation of the new streamlined streetcars at Los Angeles. The latest in big town transportation on rail. have the population, we now have the spirit, we now have the movement, we now have more and more tourists coming downtown than ever before. LA is a place you can live, LA is a place you can work, LA is a place you can play. And downtown LA is now at the heart and soul of that movement. And the streetcar seems to be something that everybody just enjoys using. It's clean and totally safe. What we found Property along the streetcar line immediately begins selling at a premium, a significant premium. 20 years ago, uh, you could probably buy dirt down here for 10, 15, 20 dollars a square foot. At the peak in 2007, the value of the land down here was probably 300 dollars a square foot. As far as the retail development, when we started in the Pearl, there was maybe a half a dozen businesses down here. There's over 400 today. The impact, especially on opening up areas for development, I mean, it was just astounding. When the streetcar was first announced, I was pretty nervous. The engineers um, came up with a schedule for building a streetcar, which was a block a week, one lane, out of commission, not taking the sidewalks out, not taking the bulk of the street out. It becomes iconic. I mean, you know, people talk about it, they see it. It's now in our advertising for the city. If somebody takes a picture of Portland and puts it somewhere, often it will feature the streetcar. People just love being on a streetcar, it's just fun. I think a lot of people don't necessarily understand what a streetcar is. It runs in the lane of traffic. When the streetcar's not there, the cars drive right over the tracks as if it wasn't there. It's, it really can be thought of as a bus that's on rails. They're quiet and efficient. It might be a better means of transportation for its environmental benefits and the carbon gas reductions because of the electricity. It's a walk extender that you can easily hop on and off of and circulate you just through the area of downtown. There's, there's lots of other systems out there that are meant to bring people into downtown, whether it be light rail, subway, buses, or even the automobile. What do you do with that last mile, that last quarter mile between where you get off of the, the, the light rail or the subway and you need to get to where you want to go downtown? The last element that's been missing is the urban streetcar system that connects some of the urban rail and connects with the Metrolink. That piece of the puzzle is all dependent upon local funding and if that funding can come through we can have a robust system. So I see the streetcar as sort of the connective tissue between all of our neighborhoods, you know, to allow each neighborhood to still function on its own and have its own rich and, and interesting character, but to be very well connected and easily accessible to the other neighborhoods. We're really quite familiar with Los Angeles, but I don't think anybody down there has any idea of what the impact is going to be with the streetcar in tying together the various downtown neighborhoods. I mean, it's, it's going to be really significant. But where streetcars really start to separate and differentiate themselves is their economic development potential. It's those rails that go on the ground that we talked about that is a permanence factor that allows investors and owners of properties and businesses to want to invest in that area. What the streetcar also brings is it's a driver for economic development. Uh, Broadway itself needs to be revitalized. And as we saw in Portland, wherever that streetcar went, those areas were developed. The streetcar is going to deliver thousands of people to the sidewalks of downtown LA. Thousands of people that would otherwise be in their cars, driving by, not looking at the businesses, not stopping at the storefronts. So if you're a block, two, three, even four blocks away, it's going to be, it's going to be a huge benefit to you. 
If we sit here and languish for another decade and blow these kinds of opportunities, we're just going to sit here with dead real estate. The bottom line is it's about time that Los Angeles acts like a major world-class city. And I think the streetcar is really going to help us do that. It's good for the environment, it's good for neighborhoods, it's good for people. We had it right 50 years ago when streetcars ruled the day. People liked them, people used them, and they worked. The time for the streetcar is now, and it's incumbent upon all of us to work together. Government can't do it alone, and that's why it's the private sector and the public sector that will make the streetcar happen again.